When you click on a prospect, you'll be able to gather a lot of information. First, you'll see basic contact information along the top, along with the quick buttons in the upper right for adding a note, adding an appointment, add plan, send a text, send email, or deleting the prospect entirely. You can also hide this person or add them to the phone book. If we scroll down a bit, we'll see a timeline that includes emails, text, calls, and all sorts of history. This allows you to know the interactions you've had with this prospect. Under details, you'll see some of the fields that can be filled in for the prospect, along with custom fields we've created. Plans will show any plans that have been used on this prospect. Currently, they only have one plan assigned to them. If we'd like to add another, we can click it right here. Notes will show any notes you've added to this prospect. Click the little note icon in the upper right, fill in the subject, and type the note. Under appointments, we'll see any appointments we have upcoming with this prospect. This prospect's assigned to Patrick Nell, but I can select all to see if anyone at all has an appointment with them. I can add an appointment in the upper right. I'll add the subject, a description, the date, and the time. I can also select whether I'd like the prospect to receive a notification 30 minutes prior, either by text or email. Lists will show any lists that this prospect's a part of. Currently, they aren't a part of any. I know that they're a local prospect, so I'm going to add them to that. This way, whenever we call the list of local prospects, they'll be a part of it. Preferences will show the texting approval. I'll need to click Edit and check off that they have prior expressed written consent. I can select Yes or No, and if I select Yes, I'll need to fill in whether it was by email, written consent, or recorded call. Under Written Consent, I'll fill in a bit more information. Once I fill that in, I'll be able to send my double opt-in message. 